Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Hayden Newberry Fishing. We are back out on the lake again today, Lake Murray. Uh, I've made one video out on here just a couple weeks ago, and that was the second time I've ever been out here. This will be the third. Uh, really the water temps, it looks like so far at least, are about the same that they were when I was here. Big difference is, is that we had a lot of warm weather then. We had that kind of late cold front that came through. Uh, I say late, it was still in February, but we had you know the, the warm weather that pushed through, warmed everything up, and then a couple nights in like the 30s. And this is one of the first nights coming out of that. We had some wind last night, actually quite a bit of wind. It's still pretty windy this morning. And it's gonna be sunshine, 70 degree temperatures today. It's gonna probably, sorry my dog's gonna hit me with her tail, but gonna be probably setting some things back in motion. I looked at the water levels. Water levels have shot back up. They've been raising the lake up. So I'm thinking that with some of this wind, some of the warm wind that we're having, it's gonna turn that bite back on. I'm gonna pretty much do a lot of what I did last time. We're gonna go around throwing the spinner bait around. I'm actually waiting on my new battery for my live scope to come in. So we're not gonna go around and try to live scope and we're gonna do some of the same stuff. Just go around, hit some shallow stuff, hit some pre-spawn stuff and kind of see where we're at. But I think that it's gonna set up to be a pretty cool day. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching the video guys. Good start. Well, if I can get that out of there. Ow. Well, I don't think he was coming off. Oh, there we go. Two pounders start the day. That took a grand total of five minutes. I got one on crankbait. Not a big one. <sighs> well, trying to find some big ones. Caught that first one and I really feel like I was in front of them maybe a little bit. I don't know, I'm gonna try some more shallow stuff, but caught one right off the bat and I really haven't got bit much since then, running a lot of the same stuff. So I started throwing a crankbait that runs just a little bit deeper just to see if maybe I, I was, I'm up a little bit too shallow. I think as the day goes on that they're gonna, that if they're not up there, they're gonna start moving up there into the shallower stuff. So I'm just gonna keep running a little bit, uh, just a little bit deeper, not much deeper. I'm fishing this in like six to eight feet of water along some of these rocky areas. And uh, just keep doing that, see what happens.
There's one. So I actually just switched up to a three quarter ounce spinner bait so that I could run it a little bit deeper. Just kind of slow roll it off the bank a little bit. And we caught another one. A uh, fat one, probably three pounder. Cool. I'm gonna, I guess, <laughs> throw this one for a little bit. Literally same spinner bait, just number five blade, and uh, oh, sorry, number six blade, uh, three quarter ounce. Throwing it off the bank just a little bit farther. See what happens. He's on my troll motor. He got off. Uh, another two pounder. Switch back to the chatter bait. I got in a little bit clearer water, but really the same type of deal. Just a little bit deeper, but still like four or five feet of water. cast oh that's a good one Barely hooked a good one. At least he looks like he's barely hooked. Oh, man. Oh. 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 Just got skin on the inside of his mouth. Giant. That's a. I don't know. That one might weigh. That was just fat. Probably a five pounder. Sweet. Doing the same old thing, but it's about one o'clock now. I think they're finally starting to, finally starting to get right for me. Um, because I'm really not doing anything crazy different. I'm just fishing some of the same docks that I've been fishing here and there all day and uh, starting to catch them now. See if we can catch a couple more bigs. Oh. Gotta get a picture. All right. Get See if I can get him swimming away.
Look at that. Couple casts with a jerk bait. No scoping them. Little bitty guy. All right, guys, I'm I'm calling it a day. Um, really, I feel like I'm missing something, or they really just didn't pull up as much as I thought they would. It's kind of thing, same thing as last time. Uh, caught a few, but it just feels like I'm missing something small, and I'd be on them. But I would say that they just that they are just maybe out a little bit farther than I'm fishing. I caught that one on a jerk bait. Tried that out for a little bit. Couldn't catch anything. Sorry I didn't update you guys more throughout the day, but I really was just kind of bouncing around. I ended up catching one on a crankbait, um, one on a three-quarter ounce spinnerbait, one on a half ounce spinnerbait, or maybe I didn't catch one on a half ounce spinnerbait. I don't know. Um, caught the one on the jerkbait. Um, really, the, the two on the jerkbait and the crankbait, though, were the definitely the smaller ones. Those were only like one pound, just little bitty ones. Uh, the ones that I caught on the chatterbait, same as last time, on the Falcon Kara uh, I crosser, it's a 611 heavy, and then on my spinnerbait rod, which I'm throwing the uh, seven foot heavy Buku series, and then I actually was throwing a 74 heavy. Just that was the rod that I had when I rigged up the three quarter round spinnerbait that I caught that one on. Um, all of them 20 pound Seaguar uh, red label. I don't know. I really feel like. I'm close, but not enough. Today would have been a pretty terrible tournament day from what I've seen on this lake. I don't know really what I had. I think probably all together less than 15 pounds or right at that, which from what I've seen, this lake should fish better than that. If I hadn't figured out, I'd be catching more than that. I feel like it would have been a, definitely a good day to have live scope on because when I was idling around the areas, I was seeing a lot of bait a little bit off the bank and I kept seeing, I had, did, did have my uh, 2D on on my front unit and every now and then when I was passing around the front of the docks and stuff, I'd see some fish passing under the boat, which is why I ended up throwing that jerk bait at one of them. Caught one on like the third cast with it and then ran really uh, quite a few more docks that way and couldn't get bit again on it. But it seemed like that was kind of the, the trend today. I, catch one run some more of that wouldn't catch anything switch it up catch one run some more of that stuff and then i don't know now i'm now i'm in the day and i'm just even more confused i feel like well i wouldn't say i'm confused i i, I really feel, do feel like that in the next couple days this bite is just going to keep getting better but i might have just been a little bit too far in front of them i don't know if the, and it could just be that i just didn't hit them at the right times it could be a total just a timing deal that i that i hit them at the wrong time and i kind of missed the bite windows I don't know. I just know that when you're on them on this lake, you catch more weight than that from what I've seen. So stay tuned, guys. Thanks for watching the video. See you on the next one.